Let's talk about making your growing more productive. Several plants, such as a cucumber plant, can take as much as 64 days before it has a nice fruit set. If you go to a dwarf tomato, you're talking about around 100 days. And with a hot pepper, it's going to be out to around 170 to 250 days. That is a major investment in terms of the electricity and tying up a grow system that could be used for crops that can be taken care of of and rotated through multiple productions during that same amount of time. How do you address that to get more productivity? The answer to that is to manage the original plant that you put in and then start a process of taking cuttings and rooting those and having those ready to pull the original plant, put the uh, new cutting in its place, or to take the cuttings and move those to other grow systems. This is a aero garden garden bounty 40 watt and how can you grow a super huge uh, cucumber plant under it well you have to manage the vines so when the vines start coming out limit the vines to maybe uh, one to three vines when they get out beyond start to clip the ends off of those and those uh, cuttings can be rooted that would start this process where you can get the additional plant those cuttings that I was telling you about were what was used on this 6.6 .6 gallon container three of the cuttings were placed in. There's a neoprene cloning collar. Is the only thing that uh, those uh, cucumbers are placed into. The rest of the uh, plants inside this container are just roots that are growing out into the water. This is working out quite well using a 98 watt LED grow light. This is from Osri. It's a GL1000. You can see that these humongous leaves are doing quite well. Productivity is is also amazing. I'm uh, starting to get uh, cucumbers. I've picked one. Let me show you some of the others that are in here. After picking one large cucumber already, I am getting three more that are of a size I could pick off. These are Isnic uh, Parthenocarpic cucumbers. Size when mature is about that large. However, they can be also picked when they're a little bit smaller for like a cocktail cucumber. You can eat these raw. The skin doesn't have spines on it. You don't even have to peel it. It's non-bitter. It's something that can easily be just chopped up for a salad or just with a little bit of a dip and it's dipped and eaten raw. Now there are other cucumbers that are forming on the vines. Over to the side you can see that uh, there's one there. As we come down the plant there's another one and there's another two that are forming right there so the productivity of these three plants is much more than the original mother plant. Some of the vines are growing over onto the floor where they're not getting as much light, will not be as productive. These are the ends that I was telling you about that I come in and I take uh, cuttings off those and start to uh, root those out so I could have replacement plants. You'll find that you can get a cycle going. I will uh, show you the rooting plants next. From the mother plant, I clip off the cuttings started growing out as I showed you and then also took cuttings off of the clones so this would be a uh, second generation clone cutting and these have been in since uh, August 16th so just in a matter of about a week I started to see some root growth let's lift that lid and look at the roots so my intention is to uh, once these have rooted to allow those to uh, bulk up a little bit more on the uh, roots use the best one to uh, replace the original mother plant in the area garden pull the uh, three cucumber plants that I have in this black magic grow pill replace those now of the three methods that I have for growing this uh, grow pill seems to be the most productive in terms of the most cucumbers uh, for harvest so that uh, also is going to be a consideration as you're growing to pick an optimal size container that will give you the best productivity and and not to limit yourself with containers that are too large where you're wasting uh, nutrients, but size correctly for the particular crop that you're growing. One other tip is 
with your vines, uh, when you are managing those, you will have some leaves that start to get old and uh, break down. Since this uh, cucumber, this original mother plant is 81 days old, I come in, I'll take a pair of scissors and I'll snip off leaves like this. That'll make room to have these newer leaves start to fill in and green up. You'll notice on the other side, there's another leaf that's like that. Good management would be to pull those off and not only uh, clip the tips of the vines, try to curl the vines around where they're more compact underneath the light that you have. That is more valuable for indoor growing with uh, LED lights where you would like to have uh, the most productivity for the particular uh, grow light that you're using. This is just a beautiful cucumber. They're easy to grow, easy to replicate. This process is the same process that I've used and showed in other videos for things such as this set of compact golden harvest microdorf tomato plants from Arrow Garden, where I've rooted those, gotten as many as eight daughter plants cloned off of it and grown those out in other containers. This uh, set of tomato plants, just so you're aware, did put on most of the fruit starting around 100 days. The plant is 230 days of age right now, still looking extremely healthy. The longevity plus the ability to take cuttings has really helped out with having a continual harvest.